Hey everyone, it's GM. Welcome back to another video on how good is every character in Super Smash Bros. 2. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Kirby. And, well, that's because, uh, like I said with Ness in the last episode, I want to more focus on characters who uh, are new characters or I've gotten re-sprites. So, you know, we can take a look at how much it's new compared to how it was before. And I did say that, but I also forgot to do a video on Lucario, so that's next week. Um... So, today for Kirby, he honestly isn't, I mean, he's just Kirby, so let's go over what he has. So, um, I guess in the tilts, I mean, they're fine. He still doesn't have a slide, somehow. I feel like the dev team w would have taken uh, all that feedback uh, that everyone says and give him a slide, but, I mean, it's kind of a slide, but you do a little go, you do get a little bit forward, but it's not really a slide. Um, he doesn't have that burning dash like he doesn't ultimate in melee. It's still that kick from a uh, brawl in Smash 4. So it's not exactly, um, it's not too good, but I mean, it does a decent amount of damage and has pretty good base knockback. So I will give it that. It's actually pretty good in that way. Um, as for, let's do smash attacks. Um, that's not a smash attack. Come here, Brandon Danity. Come on. I mean, eh, F Smash isn't all too good. I mean, yeah, it's not the greatest. So, probably not the Smash attack you should be doing against Kirby, or with Kirby. You should be doing Up Smash. It has a great knockback. Like, let's see. 96, Uncharged. Yeah. And Dream Dreamland's a big stage, too, so you gotta understand, um... How much that, uh, like how, how crazy it is that it killed that early, and especially on someone like Kirby. So I mean, that's kind of uh, not normal for someone like Kirby because that's pretty strong. And even at like 40, that's pretty high. And 63, fully charged on the very ground. That's strong. So probably one of his best moves. As for down smash, okay, and indeed. As for down smash. I mean, it's alright. Good base knockback, but nothing nothing special. As for his aerials, um, neutral air is good to just uh, short hop and spam, really. So, you can do that. It doesn't have too good of knockback, though, but it can definitely give some people off stage. So, maybe, maybe you could do that, um, but it's probably not its main usage. As for forward air, um... And it, probably, it usually isn't that good on uh, smaller opponents because even even out of a short hop, it's not gonna usually hit. It'll probably only hit like the first hit or something. So there's that. So and then as for back air, back air has a ton of knockback. So that's a really good move to use off stage. Probably the aerial you want to use aside from down air, which we'll get into in a second. But as for up air, I mean it's good as a um, damage racker at um, lower percentages. You can probably just go under stage and or like under a platform and then get some percentage in and then combo it into like back air or something or up B maybe if you can hit that second hit. Um and then down air. Down air is really good. Let's get him off stage. I said off stage. Oh, that's gonna kill. <laughs> okay, let's get him off stage actually this time. Let's just this is like the first time I've ever had to do this. Okay, that does it. Oh. Yeah, it has a lot of spikes. It's not it's not nearly as strong as Rayman's, but it still has a, I think all its hitboxes are spike hitboxes hit boxes. So it's really strong in that way. And it's also it's not too good for damage. Um it can be in some situations for uh, part of your combo, but uh, that's really not what it's meant to be for. It's just meant to be a really good spike. And that last hit is also extra strong too, so... I'd say that's pretty good. And as for specials, you know how it is with the inhale, where he gets all the different abilities. Every character has them in this game, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm not gonna show them all off here, but, um, maybe, um, I guess I could upload, like, some other video tomorrow where I go over every Kirby outfit and say, hey, this one's pretty good. Maybe. If you, if you guys are lucky, I don't know. That'll be up to my decision. 
Um, as for his other moves, let's bring him back down to like 59. Uh, side B, you can't charge it. Of course, it's strong. What are you expecting? It's, it's like Brawl Kirby, where it's two hits in the air and um, an uncharged hit on the ground. Of course, it has um, high high knockback. It's, it's his hammer, and it's pretty easy to use um, off stage too. So. There's no reason not to use it off stage because you, you there's like no end lag from it, which is insane. It's definitely one of Kirby's best moves. Up air, or up B, um, you can't really hit the second hit at higher percentages, and it's really not that good as a suicide tool anyway. Because I'm sure Kirby's back throw can um, suicide off stage. I would have to see, but um, I mean. Yeah, probably not the move you should focus on using if you want to do basically anything. It's really just a recovery move. So, that's really all it's good for. Let's see, back throw. Yeah, it is a suicide move. I don't know if it, um, you can break out of it like in um, Melee, but we're going to say you can't, so I can make it sound better. As for down special, I mean, you know, pretty good. I uh, got good knockback. What are you expecting? It's Kirby down B. So, yeah. Um, as for his throws, um, I guess forward throw would also be a kill throw. As for down, down throw is good for lower percentages and for uh, damage rackers. And up throw is decent at knockback, honestly. Um, I don't really know how much doubles is used in this game. I, I've never seen it, but um, I don't really know. I was going to think of the snake c4 thing but then i remember snakes not in this game so never mind forget i said that um yeah and then we can also take a look at his final smash kirby has cooked kirby for his final smash so it's not the ultra sword but it's still very strong and of course still spawns items so hey pretty good um let's go on to a battle then i'm sure dreamland's a legal stage in this game um i've only been in one tournament before so i wouldn't know i don't really remember i this isn't usually my first pick for a stage regardless so any character I pick but anyway um Kirby is still really good at being able to just combo you for a lot of percentage and it really sucked in melee because with Kirby if you use um up throw you'd actually lose all your jumps so in this game that's luckily removed and black mage somehow kills himself and I guess I had less jumps than I thought um as for I guess we can talk about his air mobility Kirby is just pretty much how he always has been it's pretty good so um, we will give him that, but that killed him again. Wow. Yeah, down air is good at gimping, really. Um, that's a, that's probably its second best usage. Let's see if I can kill him with the... Okay. I guess that works. I don't really think your opponent's gonna be doing that, so... And that's really all I had to talk about Kirby regardless, so... Um, honestly, Kirby is... I don't know. He's probably mid-tier, if not low-mid-tier. It kind of sucks, but I mean, Kirby's never really been that good in any game aside from Smash 64, so it sucks, but that's just kind of the Kirby curse. Yeah, we'll call it that. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, be sure to like and subscribe for more reveals like this, and I guess we can talk about Kirby's um, all his inhale moves tomorrow, so be sure to stick around for that too. So I'll see you guys then.